Welcome Hot Wheels Racing fans to event one of King of the Curves. This is quite similar to the King of the Track races. Firebird and Pontiac Stalker will begin the King of the Curves races today. Firebird out into the lead here. Pontiac Stalker now takes it back over. Take a look at these final two curves. Both cars slowing down quite a bit. That Firebird though on the left side speeding up after that hill. So this is similar to the King of the Track. We saw this a couple series ago. 1v1 races, cutting out cars from 16 all the way down to 1. And the 1, after 10 events, the 1 from each 1, the winner from each of the 10 events will go to the 11th event and battle for the victory there. Look at these two. Ooh, that car on the left, that white car, speeding up down the hill as well. You can take the victory there, pushing it to the next round as well. The quarterfinals are next, followed by the semifinals, and then the finals. Best two out of three, as usual, there. Which is going to make it the Corvette Thunderburner. Continue it here. Thunderburner, that blue car. Corvette, that yellow one. Corvette. On the right there, taking the lead through the first couple of curves. The inside line working well for the Corvette. Thunderburner now gets a chance at a couple inside lines. He will take them very slowly. Now losing out again to the Corvette and across the line. The race is close, but the Corvette had it fully through. He did not take advantage of the inside line of the curve as he needed to. And the Corvette will take that victory. Cadillac Alante on the right side there. Take a look at him. Focusing on him. How is he doing? Slowing down. The outside line certainly not helping him out. How will the hill look on the bottom? Speeding up and it's not going to work out. Certainly a car expected to be a little bit faster, but there's nothing you can do except for watch the race fall to somebody else. Mustang in the Wildcat. Saw a Wildcat back in King of the Track. We're seeing one again. The speed right now is showing. But the Mustang catching up here. Now has the inside line a couple of curves. Extending that lead by a couple car lengths. Now the Wildcat around the hill. No. Not a good finish for the Mustang. I mean for the, for the Wildcat, sorry. The Mustang comes across. Flips over. But takes the victory, he's certainly happy about that. Sunburner, Dodge Charger. Sunburner. Burning up the track on the right side, holding the lead. Dodge Charger moving up on the left side, now crosses under. And has the lead by a couple car lengths. The inside line a couple of times. Sunburner falling behind. And the speed will not resurge. The Dodge Charger. Going to be moving those quarterfinal rounds. Sunburner not living up to his name there. It's cold racing for him today. Funny car and the C6 Corvette. Funny car was an up and down racer in the King of the Track season. Sometimes takes victory with no problem. Sometimes had trouble even finishing the course. But right now the funny car is showing his speed across the line there, heading to the quarterfinals. Nice and smooth through the track. And that hill at the end certainly helped him out. And there you go. Oldsmobile, Vertigo, Rod. Oldsmobile, pushing him as hard as it can. He's falling behind. Vertigo, taking that higher line. Now has two outside lines. He's still in front. The Oldsmobile, neck and neck here. Down the final hill. Vertigo on the left. Vertigo crossing in front. It looks like he had it by a half a car length. It's not 100% clear here how it will look across the line. Boom! It's the Vertigo by a little bit. And he's the last one that will slip his way into the quarterfinal rounds. And now we have eight cars. We need to narrow it down to four. Vertigo and Corvette to begin here. Vertigo on the left. Taking a lead again to the Corvette. Here on the inside line, now holds it back. Vertigo moving in front again through the bottom line. And as the inside line to his favor as well. Corvette now speeding it up. Vertigo slowing down a lot. Look at the Corvette passing him on the left. Across the line, Vertigo. 
A little bit of speed at the end, but too little, too late. And it will be the Corvette in spades here. Both cars wobbly at the end, but the Corvette can hold it out. Thunderburner, Mustang. Thunderburner, fast through these couple of curves here on the right. Now we got the Mustang, making that bottom line. Moving on the inside here to establish a lead again. Now the Thunderburner, taking it back over through the final hill. Mustang trying to speed it up at the end. A little bit of a burst of speed, but it's not enough. And the Thunderburner. You will see him burning up track in the semifinals. Dodge Charger, Mercury. Remember that white police looking car? Saw back in the second race of round one, the opening round. Dodge Charger holding his lead right now. Now falling behind to the outside lines. Dodge Charger. Car length behind. Final hill. Dodge Charger trying to speed it up. Can't. And there you have it. Dodge Charger is going to fall to the police car. Firebird. Funny car. This should be a good race here. Firebird. On the right side, falling behind, against the inside line. He's going to take the lead back over. Now the funny car pushing ahead once again. Firebird now going to the outside. And losing more speed. Not looking good. Funny car way out in front, down the hill. And that's the end of it. Funny car disappearing under that final barrier. With a lot of speed. And he will advance to the semifinals as well. Four cars left fastest has yet to be determined but the semifinals will continue to help us with that Corvette Mercury yellow car Corvette white car Mercury Mercury holding the lead to the first straight now Corvette back on the right side holding the lead to the second straight now the Mercury switching again in placements now the inside line for the Mercury and he's got it back again Corvette now down the hill will speed come at the right time a little bit but not enough Unfortunate finish, and Mercury will be heading right to the finals. This should be a good race, but who will challenge the Mercury? Thunderburner, funny car. Money's on the funny car here, but the Thunderburner certainly shown that he's not a car to mess with as well. We will need to see who can push it out here. Thunderburner, now moving on the right side, falling behind, and has the outside line to deal with here. Funny car, moving quickly, but the Thunderburner coming up on the left side. Look at him, he's gaining ground. One car length, but it's not enough. I thought he might have had it after that final curve, but the funny car seemed to gain some speed as well, and it just did not work out. Mercury, funny car, best of two here, best of three, sorry. To determine the fastest here in event one, Thunderbird on the right. Now he's going to take the top line as the funny car squishes to the bottom. Thunderbird now on the left side, now coming up with some speed. Now the hill, funny car, trying to keep up, can't, and it is the Mercury for race one. A good dive through the hill and a burst of speed at the right time. And the Mercury is set up for success here as we head to the possible final race, but the funny car certainly not very happy about that. Already out into a lead and a good couple of car lengths out. Mercury on the right side, trying to reestablish the lead, but the funny car now in front, Mercury at the end, but it's not Mercury, wow. What a finish by the funny car, holding it out just barely over Mercury by a good eighth of a car length. I can't believe it. And this has set itself up to be one of the closest races so far here on the Races and Fun channel. Funny car on the right, Thunderbird, need to come up with some speed here at the end. He's gaining on him. He's gaining on him. At the end, the funny car will come across in front and grab the title here in event one. Mercury certainly had the speed at the end, but it wasn't enough track left to accommodate. And the funny car will take the victory in event one. We will see you next time for event two as we build our 10 cars for event 11, the King of the Curves Championship.